Warning, this is gonna be a long intro, but if you're interested in seeing how I make my carrot cake or how I make Duvine or any of my other holiday little special things, make sure you click in the chapters below and see where I make all that fun stuff. But I do wanna talk about holidays and expectations a little bit and showing yourself a little bit of love. Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today is gonna to be a little bit different I think I say that in every one of my videos, but today is actually going to be a bit different because today we're going to be talking about something that I struggle with a lot and that's kind of creating boundaries during the holidays. For me, I am really lucky in certain ways and also unlucky. I currently live on the other side of the world from my family. So all of my family lives in the US, so my direct family, so my siblings and my mother and I live here in Germany. And so it can be very difficult during the holidays. So it's a lot of balancing. And I think many of us know that who have partners or friends in our life where we spend holidays with one person and spend holidays with the other, or we have to drive around in circles and visit their family, visit your family, visit somebody else's family. And you spend the whole holiday just driving in circles and visiting everybody. And it can be very hard. And so, that's why I consider myself slightly lucky, is I don't have to choose who I'm going to visit. This year, we're alone for Christmas. My partner's family has decided to take a vacation on their own, and so it's just me and him this year. So it's a little bit quieter than normal, but I just got a new family member on my, my direct family side, and I'm so sad that I won't be able to spend the holidays with them. And so I think it's really important for us to find ways to be able to celebrate the way we want to, but also create those boundaries where we're not having to drive in circles. And that's kind of what this video is talking about. Um, as I already mentioned, I won't be able to see my family this year physically, but I will be able to video chat them. I'm really looking forward to that. They're getting together for a time to open presents for the kids and so I'm going to stay up late, super late, and just call in, say hi, and just see all of their faces. I saw them not too long ago in person, but it's still really important for me to see them for the holidays. And for my partner's family, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to video call them and say, hey, happy holidays. They celebrate Christmas on the 24th here in Germany, so the 24th is kind of the first Christmas. The second Christmas is the 25th, and then there's a third Christmas day, which is the 26th. My partner's family has always celebrated Christmas on the 24th, so we'll call my partner's family on the 24th. We'll call my family on the 25th, and just ask how they're doing, ask how their, their Christmas is going, and just reconnect in that way. And I think that's really important is, we all want to reconnect with family because the holidays is all about family, but the fortunate part I have is that because my family is so far away, I don't have to drive there and there and there and there to meet everybody. I don't have to feel stressed and feel like I can't have my own holiday, my own time. I don't have children, so that generally means that people expect that I can get somewhere a little bit easier than others. And I think that's a general thought process, is if you don't have children, then you have to make the time to go out and do more and take the time to go out and, and make that extra step. But if you're like me as well, you know that it's still not easy. You still have to make the plans. You still have to figure out your rides. You still have to figure out the timing and it can be a lot. And sometimes we just want to stay home. So I'm fortunate that I can stay home. I'm unfortunate that I don't get to see my family, but with video chatting and texting. It's made it so much easier to be able to just call them and be like, hey, how's it going? What's going on? And I think that I'm really, really lucky to be able to do that. And so if you're realizing that you're not able to go home for the holidays, take the moment and call your family during that time or call some friends. I think that's the best time to be able to say, hey, I'm thankful for you and you're awesome. So you don't actually even have to give a physical gift either. And I think just telling somebody how amazing they are and how much you appreciate having them in your life means so much. And now I'm rambling, I'm sorry. But the unfortunate part that I see a lot of people having to deal with is the drive here and here and here and here. And I, I want you to 
not feel like you have to do that. And I know that's really hard to say, but sometimes you just have to say, hey, I need this moment for me and my partner, me and my friends, me and your pets. And I think it's okay to say, we would love for you guys to come to ours. <laughs> I know that's easier said than done. But maybe saying, hey, we'll do something right after the holidays. They can be very busy because you're seeing one family on the 24th, seeing another family on the 25th, seeing your extended family on the 26th, and you're not really relaxing and enjoying the time to just feel merry and happy and at peace. And I think that's one of the things I really love during this time. And one of the things I've really tried to implement in my life is creating boundaries, telling my family, hey, I'm not flying to the US. Or when I was living in the US, I would say, hey, I can come on the 23rd or I can come after the holidays. And I was living alone and I loved just being at home. I would wake up, I would make myself a delicious cup of coffee, a really good breakfast. I would turn on a Christmas movie. So A Christmas Story is a popular one that I used to watch as a kid because my mom watched it every year when we would wake up for presents. Um, but there's loads of other Christmas movies. Watch the Gremlins. That takes place during Christmas as well. <laughs> but I would just put on a holiday movie and just sit on my sofa, cuddle with the cats for a little while. And one thing I also did was buy myself a gift. And I know that sounds stupid because you already know what it's going to be. But just because you're not giving gifts to anybody else or receiving any gifts, sometimes it's really nice to just get yourself something that you've been looking forward to. For example, a book that you've just really wanted. It's been slightly out of your price range, like that new book that just came out and now it's $34.99 and you're just like, oh, I don't know if I should spend the money to buy that book. Maybe get yourself that present. And if that is actually out of your price range, it can be an act. So you, like we, a lot of people do acts of service for other people, but you could do an act of service for yourself. Draw yourself a nice cozy bath, make yourself a hot cup of tea, or maybe have a glass of wine, or make some glue vine, which we'll be making later on in this video. And just have a really, really amazing bath. Just do something for yourself. So it doesn't have to be a physical gift. It could also be an act of service for yourself. A bath, making dinner, having a great breakfast, getting a special cup of coffee, anything that's going to tell yourself that you love yourself and you love being who you are. <laughs> so that's something I used to do when I lived alone. I would spend the whole day just cozy up on the sofa or I would work on crafts or I would play on the internet and look at cookie recipes. I would do anything that I wanted to do. I would just take the day for myself. So it was the holidays, but it was a holiday also celebrating the fact that it's okay not to do anything. And I think a lot of us feel the need that we have to see everybody, we have to do everything, we have to, have to, have to. And it's okay to say, no, I'm gonna take a break. The holidays are whatever you want them to be. So if you are somebody who wants to see everybody, then do it. Then if that's something you really enjoy, then I say, good on you, keep doing that. I, I For me, Personally, I really enjoy just a day at home where I don't have to do anything. And so find something that you like doing and do that because I think that's really important. And your family will understand if you have to say, hey, I think today I'm just gonna stay at home. Maybe they won't understand, but maybe you can word it in a way where they may, may understand. Just say, hey, your cat ate some Cheetos and got sick. By the way, my cat has done that before and I was right late for work, not here in Germany, in the US. But my cat ate some of my Cheetos and she got sick and she was, she, there was orange nastiness all over the floor and it made me late for work. So it does happen. <laughs> but one of the reasons I wanted to talk in this video and also put this video together right before the holidays is I wanted to kind of show you some fun activities and fun things you can do for yourself. Give yourself a present of a gift <laughs> or an act of service for yourself, some time alone or some time with a specific friend that you really enjoy, whatever you really want because you deserve a gift to yourself as well. It doesn't have to be physical like I said, it can just be a gift to yourself of also showing yourself love and showing yourself 
that you cherish it and that you just you want to you want to take care of yourself so i figured today's video i know that was a really long intro maybe i'll put a warning at the beginning so with that said i figured we'll go ahead and make some holiday carrot cake my partner needs to take some to work, so I figured I'd make him one, and then I would also eat one to myself because I love carrot cake. I also believe carrot cake is perfect during this time of season because it's you can put some spices in it and make it nice and warm and just absolutely delicious. And then we'll make some Glühwein, which is a hot spiced wine that we drink here in Germany. It's really good. If you don't drink wine, don't worry. You can also use juice. I recommend an apple cherry juice or an apple juice or a cherry juice. So apple and cherry or apple or cherry. <laughs> and you can replace that with your wine. I just generally like a good warm glue vine on a very cold day. So we'll go ahead and show you how to make that a little bit later. And yeah, I think, I think we're just gonna have a little bit of a kitchen day, work on some activities. And I just wanted to wish you guys also I hope you have a wonderful holiday. I hope you have a wonderful 24th, 25th, and 26th, or whatever you do during this season. I just hope you really enjoy it. Take some time for yourself. And I am looking forward to seeing you guys next week and talking a little bit about books. But today, I think we're just gonna go ahead and hang out in the kitchen a little bit, make some carrot cake, and make some delicious glue vine. As I was saying, before we made our carrot cake and glue vine, I really do hope you enjoy the holidays. I would love to hear what you guys did, what you also got. Maybe you got some gifts this year. I would love to hear what you've gotten. 
just because I like hearing about people's presents. <laughs> or what you ended up doing, if you ended up staying home, or if you went to your families. Share your holiday experiences because I would love to hear it. And I really, really, really wish you the best of holidays. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week, right before the new year. So until then, you guys, have a great day. Have beautiful, beautiful days ahead of you. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. Ciao.